Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm going to get my phone going here while I'm waiting for people to come in. I'm going to shut off the volume. Alrighty, we're going to wait a little bit until everybody gets in here. When you come in, just uh, say hi if you could. Welcome. We're about ready to get started here. Hi, Becky. Um, just to let everybody know, everybody who's coming in, um, I will most likely not be doing any more Monday sales. Uh, this is my most busy day of the week by far. And uh, so Mondays is just not um, a good uh, day for me on a normal level. Uh, so know that going into it, that Mondays are just uh, jam-packed. Um, you know, invoicing and um, some shipping that day, get my labels done and all that good stuff. So, um, and uh, we didn't get laundry done, so I've got that to do. My day is completely booked. Uh, so, uh, I most likely, when I do another day, I will be doing a whole different day that's going to work for me better. Um, but today I wanted to go ahead and do it this way because Bob is here to help me today. Um, and that's the reason why I chose this particular Monday. Uh, so just know that going into it. And um, we're going to get started soon. We have all kinds of stuff here. I had to uh, get rid of all the stuff. Um, that I had last night that was around my desk and that took a minute because I had quite a bit as you can imagine so um, yeah well I'm trying to find the hook to this necklace oh there it is okay good I'm sure my cats will be up here soon to help me. We all know how that goes. <laughs> They're kind of help. All right. I am going to measure this necklace. We are going to go ahead and get started. I realize there's not um, that many people here right now, but I do want to get started. And uh, if I can find my measuring tape, which probably buried there it is yeah it's buried all right all the stuff on my desk oh and then come tomorrow is cleaning day i'm gonna have to clean that's gonna be another chore okay the necklace i'm going to show you right now is uh probably 19 and a quarter i know it's a odd odd measurement 
Uh, but I like this necklace um, because it's simple, but it does the job. Um, it's just a double uh, chain link uh, necklace. They are uh, hooked together, the, the strands here, the chain. They are hooked, except for when you come right up here to the neckline, it goes into a single and um, it does have the lobster claw clasp right there. And it looks like it was never worn. It's all nice and uh, sparkly silver tone. I'm going to start this out at $3. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a nice fun one for when you want to have just uh, something to throw on. Uh, but you don't want to go out and get a whole bunch of uh, necklaces or whatever. This is, like I said, a double chain, but they are put together. So the whole thing moves together. Starting out at three. Like I said, I know there's not um, a whole lot of people in here right now. But I did want to get started simply because um, today is my busy, busy day. So um, I'm just going to start and we'll see where it goes. Uh, I might repeat and show some stuff uh, again later for those that are not in yet. Okay, we are going to move on. Now I'm trying to find, there it is, I'm trying to find my... Uh, envelope that I had it in. All right. I have a stretchy bracelet that I'm also going to start out at three. There we go. Um, this is a um, two-tone blue. It's got the light blue and uh, the true blue um, beads in there really nice if uh, you're into blue and you have maybe a blue necklace that this could match it's still got a tight stretch on it starting out at three dollars for this it is done in the uh, silver tone oh never mind guys I see a rhinestone missing, so we are going to put that in the craft. That is not going to be for sale. I did not see that. Sorry about that, guys, but we are going to put that up. Okay, let's go on to the next. Uh, I did show this ring before. Um, this was a ring that I had uh, that no longer fits me, and I wanted to get rid of it. Anything that doesn't fit me, I don't want to keep. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. Okay. I'm starting this ring off at 10. It is uh, six and three quarters. Um, there is no marking, but the gold tone uh, looks new, newer. Uh, I didn't get to wear it a lot. But this is articulated uh, stars. There are three of them. I want you to see there's three stars all together, and it's articulated. It's a spinner. Um, they spin. The two stars that are bigger, they spin. And it's really a cute ring, but like I said, it does not fit me anymore. Um, on my pinky, it's very, very loose, and um, so it falls off my pinky. And so I just, um, I need to get rid of it. It won't fit my ring finger. So uh, I really love this. It's one of those spinners, like I said. Three different stars and uh, the two of them spin. But I can no longer wear it. And I really, you know, want somebody to uh, take this home and enjoy it. Yeah, it is cute, Becky. Really cute. Um it's just fashion, but it is so cute, and um, 
hopefully somebody will be able to wear that. I might show that again later. Um, oh, hi, Kay. Hi, welcome, welcome. Um, all righty. I'm glad you made it. I have, uh, oh, pretty soon I wanted to let you guys know one announcement I did have um, before we get too far into it is Bob is going to be making and hopefully, um, I don't know, I'll see if he'll be making them today as I'm invoicing, I don't know, but it'll either be Wednesday or Sunday. We are going to have, uh, hi Doug. Oh, thank you, Doug. That's so sweet of you awesome um yeah becky i know it's a little bit small it, it's it's too big for my pinky and it's too small for my ring and it, it was depressing because i purposely i got that at a time i mean i've had it for a long time when my fingers uh were different size um and they just don't fit me they flat out don't fit me um but anyway bob is going to be making some um, old-fashioned ball jar uh, lamps, light fixtures. Uh, some are going to be the hanging uh, swag type that you hang, you know, from your ceiling. And then he's going to have a couple, I think, that are just going to be a lamp. So I'll show you one of them, uh, but we're still working on it. Some of them are going to be filled. This is what we're talking about. Uh, it's going to be, this one's going to be a lamp. Uh, we're not done with it yet, but we have ball jars. We also have some jars that are not marked. They're not ball. It's a different company that makes some different colors. Some are clear, some are green, some are blue. And like I said, some are going to be lamps like this. Some are going to be light fixtures. So be looking out for those, uh, lamps. We will I can't even discuss prices yet because we haven't got that far into it. Uh, like I said, hopefully by at least this Sunday, I will have them up for sale, okay? Uh, and like I said, we're going to have the two different styles. We're going to have the swag uh, style hanging from the ceiling that you you know hook and hang from the ceiling. And then we're also going to have the lamps. And um, I'm looking into different things that I want to fill the jars with. Um, one of them I'd like to fill with jewelry, so stay tuned. Yeah, Kay, I, I, I know. I can't wait to sell them. It's going to be great. Uh, but Bob enjoys making them, and he um, helped make our light fixtures that we have. And um, him and I, I, I sort of kind of helped. And when I say helped, uh, kind of told him what to do. You know, my kind of help is... <laughs> <laughs> and of course he knows um more what to do but you know it's i was trying to help him no we got to cut out there's pep pep says hi Ooh, he's mad okay hi lulu <laughs> pep's my boy although he's really upset right now at me because he wants to get on top of my laptop and take ownership of the show and i really don't no we'll show him later yeah, we'll show it later. But anyway, I'll show you guys uh, that day the light fixtures that he made. I mean, he pretty much made them. I helped, like, center the bulbs <laughs> and and kind of lead him. Hey, do this, do that. <laughs> you guys know, I mean, somebody has to lead. Yeah, that'll be coming. Um, I have an awesome, awesome Halloween um feature today for sale and you guys are going to go berserk you ladies who love and gentlemen who love halloween i'm going to have something for sale today that you i mean i fell in love with it when i seen it and i'm telling you it's awesome so halloween decor i only want that one thing but we're going to work on it okay now let's go back to the jewelry. I have shown these before. Um, 
and the thing about these is is i believe um these are uh, a taxco kind of metal which is like nickel and alloy mix uh that's what uh alpaca silver is it's not sterling silver those of you that have asked me in the past uh is alpaca silver sterling no it is not um if you look up the contents it is nickel alloy and i think uh there's a teeny tiny bit of uh silver in it but it, it's not you can't call it sterling you know this is a mixture uh but i am going to do a lot these are gorgeous and like i said i believe especially this one is definitely like an alpaca silver if you will that mixture but i'm not going to say these are alpaca true alpaca simply because they're not marked or i can't see the mark the first one is a cuff and it's got the threading with the uh, wire wrap around it and to go with it i have a orange bangle that has like uh you know detailed work around the beads uh the beads are that pretty uh orange they are cat's eye beads if you take a look at the beads let me see if i can show you they are cat's eye right there you can see the cat's eye they are orange cat's eye beads and boy do these go great together this one is a bangle and this one is not i'm going to start out uh these like i said i got them in my alpaca uh jewelry lot and i wanted to show them to you i'm going to start these out at 18 dollars. hi tiffany welcome welcome so happy to have you yeah exactly Kay. uh some silver is not silver because it does have the nickel and the alloy in it so that means it's not sterling as i said before this is a lot um we are gonna go starting bid at 18. the reason why it's 18 guys is because as i said before i believe this to be alpaca uh like i said before alpaca is not sterling it is nickel alloy and a little bit of sterling but not it it's not sterling okay um actually i don't i don't even think that it has sterling in it it has nickel alloy and another a third metal in there you guys can look it up and uh so i believe this to be alpaca and then we have the cat's eye uh bangle and these i thought go really really well together with the orange and that oh what do you call this like a brown yellow <laughs> thread I don't, I don't really know what you call it but those go well together i am gonna uh put that up that is a lot set if you are interested we're gonna move on I have, hi Lydia, by the way, I don't think I said hi to Lydia, but Lydia, hello, my friend, how are you? I am going to show a necklace now, I'm going to measure it, this is going to be just costume, uh, I'm going to measure the smallest point, because this is a multi-chain. Um, So it's about 16 and a half and I'm going to start this out at $4. It is a multi-chain. Um, you have like the gunmetal color. You have the clear um, crystal beads. Uh, these are acrylic. Uh, all these beads are acrylic. They are not glass. it's really a nice one you do have an extender on this um i measured it like halfway point on the extender just so you know really really nice this is costume okay we're gonna put that one up and I do today, I wanted to tell um, 
you ladies i do have some makeup for sale obviously it is brand new i would never ever sell used uh makeup so um we will be getting into that very soon okay if you guys are interested in makeup i know not everybody is but um some of you are so um before uh we get too far into it i am gonna offer up i have two makeup bags right here these all have the same amount of jewelry in them um i'll show you uh most of what's in here is brand new jewelry it has never ever been wore okay i am going to throw in and i'm going to show you the sterling that i'm going to put in okay each bag and I'll show you what bag I'm putting the sterling in. I have a tiger's eye necklace. It does have a feather. It is sterling. Okay. That is the tiger's eye. And I'll show you which bag I'm going to put these in. That is uh, the one necklace that's going in the one bag. The other bag, I have a sterling um, heart pendant on a sterling chain this is what it looks like okay show you the other side there i think this is the front piece okay this is how i'm gonna work this i'm gonna go ahead and do this now <laughs> yeah oh they want attention okay so, this is how I'm going to do it. I am going to put the tiger's eye in uh, this purple, like, faux snake skin. And the heart is going to go in the pink with the black lace. Now, I am going to start out, this is going to be a choice of. So, choice of bid style we are going to do this auction style okay um i am going to start these bags now these bags are full and they are good and weighty like i said new jewelry plus a piece of sterling i am going to start thank you Kay, so much thank you <laughs> bob says he's going to throw in a cat but we both know that is not going to happen i'm going to start this out this bidding auction out for your choice of a bag at $25. 25 guys, um, this is a really great deal. You do have one piece of sterling, like I said, in each bag. So the pink bag with the black lace is gonna be bag number one. And the uh, purple bag faux snakeskin is going to be bag number two so thank you tiffany we have tiffany in at five like i said the highest bidder will get choice of and like i said you have brand new um jewelry in there everything is um singly packaged when you get this bag it is going to look like that okay and lots of uh good stuff in there you will see the price tags on the new jewelry that is for sale in there. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's really a good deal. And um, I want you guys to be able to get a nice jewelry lot that, like I said, I have prepackaged. Everything's nice and neat in there. Um, you're not going to get any costume that is missing um rhinestone obviously the rest of it is costume but i mean you're not going to get any missing rhinestones you're not going to get any broken pieces you're not going to get any single earrings you're not going to get any junk this is 100 percent jewelry lot with a piece of sterling let's start the countdown to tiffany shall we going once to tiffany Going twice. <laughs> Bob. Oh, Bob's going to try hard to get rid of these cats. 
it's a sad, sad day. They've got their backs turned towards them. They're ignoring him. <laughs> They're mad. Last chance. I'm going to hold it at last chance for a minute, guys. I'll let you look again. Now, um, these bags each have the same amount of jewelry in them, okay? And um, there's uh, some pieces that you've got the same in each bag, the same exact set, okay, just to let you know. Okay, we are going to sell it to Tiffany. Congratulations. And Tiffany, you get to decide whether you want bag number one. That one had the heart necklace, or whether you want bag number two that had the uh, tiger's eye, both. Okay, thank you, Tiffany. Congratulations, and I will put you down for those. Awesome. And Tiffany, I don't believe... Um, oh, you'll email? Okay, good, yes. My email is trbl5 at yahoo. Um, a lot of you, just to let you know, that lowercase l, that's a lowercase l, it's not a one. It's abbreviated for the word trouble. Um, I, a lot of people have got my email mixed up because of that lowercase l, and I do apologize for that. Um, but I wanted to uh, tell you that before you email me because um, a lot of people get that uh, messed up. So, which I didn't really think it through about people uh, messing up my email, and obviously I probably should have. But, you know, I kept it. It stuck. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tiffany. Congratulations on those. All righty. Let's see what else we have. I have another costume piece. Um, this one, boy, I think the pendant, the top part, is probably shell. That's what it looks like to me. Um, although, because it's lacquered, I'm not going to uh, say for certain that it is. But it really, really looks like shell to me. It is size 16 and a half. That is uh, the size of the pendant. We are going to start this out at $3. Um, here is the necklace. I believe these three pieces right here are shell. Uh, the back piece is just a silver tone uh, piece plate that they put on the back. And it's got lots and lots of seed beads. Some of the seed beads are wood. So you've got a mixture there. And that is the pendant. Like I said, it looks to me to be shell that has been um, possibly lacquered on top. It's really, really cute, though. Perfect time of uh, the season to wear this kind of a necklace. Starting out at $3. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. So glad you uh, were able to join us. I'm showing costume right now. And uh, we'll get into the hard stuff, as I say, in a little bit. Not too, too much longer. We will get into the sterling. But I'm starting out with uh, costume. I was waiting till everybody got in here. Okay, we are going to move on. We're not going to spend too much time, guys. Okay. Um, these are just costume earrings. I want to see if these are cat's eye. So just a second. Let me look. Um, no. No, I would say no, they're not cat's eye. But it's kind of deceiving because they are faceted. Uh, right in the uh, stone there, and it's hard to see. Um, these are stamped KC. Of course, we know that to be Kenneth Cole earrings, guys. Uh, Kenneth Cole, 
Um, I did sell a Kenneth Cole necklace last night. These are earrings, and I will show you the back. Um, let me... Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Bob, you got it? Put KC for Kenneth Cole. Uh, these are Kenneth Cole earrings, and I am going to start these out at $10. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. These are a light green faceted like stone. They have the hoop, uh, just like a half hoop done in silver tone. I am going to show the back. I'm going to do it this way. There is the back. That is Casey stamped for Kenneth Cole. These are in mint, mint condition. Starting out at $10, Kenneth Cole earrings, guys. Uh, like I said, I did sell a Kenneth Cole necklace last night. And thank you all, by the way, for your support last night. I couldn't have, um, I couldn't have done it without you. I love you all. Thank you all so much for your support. It's been awesome. I love having Bob home today. Um, not just because he helps me. I mean, I could, I could get help from anybody if I really wanted it. But um, we're able to get so much done. And um, like I said, right after the show, kids, I will be, um, I will be invoicing. So, um, and after you guys pay. If there's still time before the post office closes today, I will ship them out today. So um, just be looking for that. And I did want to mention uh, that I do use pirate ship. And so what that means is I make up my labels first. So you'll see my label and it's going to tell you um, that I shipped out your item. I did not ship out your item. I wait till you pay with your invoice, but the email that you will get says that I shipped it out before you get your invoice. That's just the way I've got to get into my settings on pirate ship and try to change that. I don't know how as of yet. Uh, so just ignore that email when it first comes. What you want to do is look for the second email after the invoice that says I did ship it. That's the one you want to look out for, okay? I just wanted to clarify because a lot of people have asked me, Dawn, I don't understand. I didn't pay the invoice yet. Um, you know, why did you ship it? And I'm like, no, I didn't ship it yet. Okay, guys, I have a pendant. I have shown this before. It is starting out at $10. This is a brand new Jaguar pendant, guys. Now, I want to show you the unique... Uh, part about this it is two pieces you've got the sterling or not sterling it's not sterling guys the silver tone um face the uh mask part of the jaguar and then you've got the black that has the a little bit of the um detail right there and it goes right over top of the black let me get it I'm trying to get it back to where it was. Every time I do this, it gets kind of messed up. Oh, uh, what a headache. We are starting this out at 10. There we go. The bail is like that, guys. You do have room for a chain, but you don't want to get too big of a chain. Starting out at $10, guys, full of rhinestones. They're all there. Look at them. He looks pretty fierce to me. This is brand new, guys. That's why I'm asking $10 for this one. Uh, it is bid style, though. Um, if you wanted to, it's got a little um, thing right there that you can um, attach, you know, some beads or something. Or if you wanted to, you could um, put a jump ring there and put the chain through it and have it on its side. Uh, so totally up to you. All right. We are going to move on. I'm going to go through these kind of quick guys. I know you guys have seen that before, but I wanted to show it to you again. All righty. I 
I'm seeing sterling, 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 and I'm not seeing. Okay, I have some earrings. Um, I'm going to start these out at uh, $3. These are post earrings. These are chandelier, but they are really cool. I'll show you. There they are, guys. The one's kind of turned around. Let me see if I can fix that. The one. It's kind of tangled up, guys. I'm trying to fix it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it right now. But there they are, right there. The one is turned around, guys, so you're seeing the back and the front. Starting out at $3. And you guys let me know if you change your mind on those. I have another set of earrings. These are just costume. Like I said, we're going to get into the sterling real soon, guys. Because that's all I'm seeing on my desk right now, just about. Uh, these are starting out at $3 as well. They are just... Um, Kind of like the articulated um, panels. They just hang like that. Uh, it is gold tone. It's a little bit like antique gold tone, if you will. And that's what it looks like. Awesome. Love it. Really, really cute. Cute little earrings. Okay. see what else we got I do have some long uh, feather earrings I'll show you these are just the French hook earrings done in silver tone Yeah, feathers. Uh, I'm going to start these out at $3 as well. These are just the silver tone earrings. Yeah, it does, Elizabeth. I agree with you. When I kept looking at that, that's exactly what my thoughts were, too, is that it looked like a Thunderbird. And it probably is. Thank you, Bob. Thank you guys for your support. Really nice earrings, uh, ladies. I will put one up against my ear. Uh, these are not shoulder dusters, for those of you that don't like those. Uh, these hang um, kind of long, but it's just below, uh, like, your chin. But they don't quite touch your shoulders, okay? All right, we are going to put those up. And uh, let's... See, let's go ahead. I'm going to start on some of the sterling. All right. Um, oh, I'll show one more. Let me show one more costume, guys, uh, because I got sterling right in the way, and it's um, no, I won't show that one. That's another one I got to fix. Okay, I won't show that one. So yeah. Um, okay, I'll show this one last. Uh, Piece and we will go on to the sterling because that's all I'm seeing up here uh, pretty much. This is a very, very short necklace. Uh, that being said, it does have an extender. Um, I've got it all the way extended out. Now, if you extend it all the way out, you are looking at a size 17 necklace. This, uh, we're going to start this out at $5. It is a uh, glass, uh, a blown glass um, artistic pendant. It has that starburst effect. 
in the pendant and it's got all the pretty uh, beads. You've got some uh, little bicone brown beads right there. You've got some uh, pretty like a cobalt uh, blue beads. Those are um, acrylic. And then you have just the um, multi cord right there. You could easily, if you wanted to, take out the cording and change it to a chain. You easily could. Um, that is the pendant. You see a lot of these glass pendants uh, from everybody. Uh, this is the one I got a hold of. It's really, really pretty. Uh, the back of it is just the opaque black. And uh, there it is. And it has the little bead back there where it attaches. Earring for three leaves and large silver tone ones before it. Okay, just a second, guys. Let me um, show her. Okay. So, Amanda, let's start out first. Um, Were these uh, one of the ones you wanted? If Just say yes or no if these were one of the ones you wanted. I'm going to show all three. I want to make sure I'm getting the right earrings for you, um, Amanda. Yes, she wants these. Okay, those ones... Um, we're starting out at three. Okay. So let me write you down for those. I'll show you the rest, Amanda, because I want to make sure I write down the right uh, earrings for you. And the ones before that, okay, let me uh, show you. That's Amanda. The ones before that were the, uh, you want the ones that sort of look like a Thunderbird uh, chandelier? I mean, wow. You know, just when you think you got something untangled. <laughs> you don't. You don't. All right. Uh, these ones? Yes. And the ones before? Okay. Those are three. I will mark her down for those. And the ones before were these gold tone, I believe, uh, the panel earrings. I want to show them again to you so that I don't get the wrong ones. I don't want to mark you down for the wrong ones. These ones, Amanda? These are like the antique gold, like reticulated earrings. I wanted to make sure. Oops. Yes. Okay, so you want all three of those? All righty. I got you down. Awesome. And congratulations. Hopefully I got all of them. Were there any more, uh, anything, Amanda, that you've seen that you wanted before I uh, go on? Just so that I make sure I got them all. Boy, my hair is frizzy today. If there is, just let me know in the chat, okay, Amanda? And um, if anybody wants this glass pendant necklace, it is uh, starting at $5. I am going to put it up, but you let me know if uh, you are interested in that um, necklace. All righty, we're going to put that one up. Yes, congratulations. I have a, um, 
a Marine's ring. This is uh, a man's ring. Okay, guys. It is size 10. So if you want to write that down. Size 10 uh, Marine's ring. Okay. Now, this is an awesome, awesome ring. Awesome. Oh, did it? Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda. Well, I'm glad you're back. That happens to me, too, and I can't stand it. I'll be watching all along. There was one time I was getting ready. I was just getting ready to place my bid on somebody's item, and it kicked me out. And by the time, you know, I was messing with it and got back in, it was sold. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. I'm like, oh, that hurt. That hurt bad. <laughs> so I know. Um we are going to start this ring out at $25. I will show you why. This is stainless steel. This thing is heavy. I'm going to weigh it. Uh, no, it's not sterling, but this is a U.S. Uh, Marine ring. It is stainless, and it is nice. So I'm going to weigh it for you just so that you know what we're talking. We're talking 0.7 ounces, okay? And um, it is size 10. It ha I'll show it to you like this. It has the dark um, burgundy stone. Okay. It says, I'm going to show it up close because you guys have got to see it. It says, United States Marines right around the Cabochon. Okay. Now, the red stone in there, it is a deep, deep red. Uh, is it a garnet? I do not know. I am not going to sell it as a garnet. I am selling it as a crystal, as a faux stone, what have you. I'm not going to say that that is garnet, okay, because I don't know for sure. All right? It says um, on the one side, it says Tun, Tun Tavern, 1775. And then on the other side, it says Iwo Jima, 1945. And I will show you that. This ring is amazing. It is wonderful. Those of you that have a male uh, Marine in your life or even a female, uh, it's not to say a female wouldn't want to wear this. Um, but this is the ring for them. Uh, think of Christmas. I know Christmas is not here yet. Uh, pretty soon, believe it or not, uh, usually in September is when I start my Christmas shopping. I do. Uh, because by the time September gets here, uh, the next couple months, just uh, they just go by so quick. And then we're into December. So that's usually when I start my Christmas shopping, if I do, if I don't. Last year, I think uh, I waited till the last minute. Last year was a little bit different, but usually I try in September-ish. But uh, maybe somebody's birthday is coming up, and they are a Marine. And you would like to find the perfect gift. This is it, guys. Starting out at $25, that is a gorgeous ring. Like I said, it's made to look like a class ring. It is nice and thick. United States Marine. Can't get any better than that. Bob was a Marine. And he served uh, for a while. So let me know if anybody changes their mind. That was one of the more unique pieces that I've got. We are going to go on to the sterling. I have a gorgeous mother of pearl necklace. And I am going to unwind it here, and I am going to get, um, I'm going to get you the measurements. This one is so, so pretty. Okay. This is almost, um, almost 18 inches. And then it's got a little extender. The extender's um, probably just like an inch and a half, maybe. So this is a very delicate um, necklace. 
I am going to start this out at $25. Let me um, show it to you real quick. It has uh, marcasite all around the mother of pearl. It is, uh, oh, right there. I'm going to show you the pendant first. Marcasite is all around the mother of pearl. It's really, really gorgeous. I just, uh, I love hearts and I love mother of pearl. Uh, starting out at $25, it is a mother of pearl and marcasite pendant necklace. Everything is sterling. Um, I will show you, see the little razor blade? It is stamped on the razor blade there. Um, so that you guys know what it is. It says 925 Italy on the little razor blade. I will show you the back of the pendant, seeing how it wants to keep turning around. Uh, this is one that if you want to clean it up a little bit more, you certainly can. As you can tell, the pendant is marked as well. So this is 100% sterling, both the pendant and the necklace. So this is an awesome, awesome deal. 25 starts out the bid. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, we are going to move on. You can't go wrong with Mother of Pearl. I don't think, not in my, not in my mind, you can't. Okay, I have... An amethyst necklace. This is sterling. I am going to measure it. It is another heart necklace. I am going to start this one out as, at 25 as well. This looks brand spanking new. I mean, and I when I say that, it's because it is the shiniest, I mean, it, it just looks brand new. It is almost 18 inches, guys. It is stamped 925 on the little razor blade once again, and I will show you. We've got a little amethyst bead right there, and it's got the heart where the leaves go up into the heart. That is amethyst. We are starting out at $25. This is a box chain. And like I said, this is like brand new, guys. Like brand new. There's the little razor blade. It is marked. Just to let you know, we're talking all sterling right here, guys. So, so beautiful. Uh, once again, like I said, if you are thinking Christmas right now, uh, as far as presents, I'm not talking. I, I know a lot of you are saying, Dawn, shut up about Christmas. I know. It'll get here when it gets here, but it's something to think about as far as gifts for people at Christmas time. Okay, we are going to move on. I love these necklaces. They're so, so pretty. Can't go wrong. You can't. I have a Baltic Amber ring. This is a brand new sterling ring. I'm going to measure it. It is on the small side. It is a size five and a half. Baltic Amber, guys. Five and a half. I am going to start this out at $28. It is a simple design, but boy, uh, you know, Amber, you just can't go wrong with Amber. It does have the little sediments in it. As you know, amber uh, is made from sap. See the little sediments inside? And that's what you get with amber. It's such a beautiful stone. It's kind of mesmerizing to look at. Baltic amber, let me show uh, where is the stamping on this. got to find it. Oh, my word. 
Oh, you can see part of the stamping there. I think the stamping got kind of messed up. But there is stamping right in there. But like I said, it, it looks kind of like it got messed up. Some of these, uh, the stamping, they, they didn't come out that well when they did the stamping. That happens. Baltic Amber starting out at $28. Done in Sterling. All right, we are going to move on. I have um, another necklace. This is another amethyst necklace. But this one is not uh, done in a heart style. It is another dainty one. Let me get uh, the measurement on this one. This one is about 17 and a half inches long. I am going to start this one out at 22. And this one is gorgeous as well. Little dainty one. It has um, kind of like a teardrop shape uh, amethyst. Um, let me see. I believe, um, yeah, it's the uh, spring ring clasp. That is what is marked. Uh, if you're wondering where the mark is, because it doesn't have the little razor blade this time, not on this one. So I'm going to look at the marking on this one. It says SU925IN right there on the clasp. That's what it says. For those of you that are wondering uh, about the marking, it is right there on the clasp. Where's my? Um, so it is right around there on the clasp. Okay. So exactly what I read to you is on there. Anybody want to come in at 22 on this? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Nice amethyst there. All righty, we're going to move on. Oh, we got Anna Mora at, in at 22. Thank you, Anna. Let's go ahead and start the countdown, shall we? We're going to go once to Anna Mora. By the way, uh, it is marked on the pendant as well. This is 100% uh, sterling all the way down, and it does look brand new. We're going twice to Anna. Last chance, and we are sold to Anna Mora at 22. Thank you, thank you, girl. I will uh, put you down for that one. Twenty-two. Congratulations on that. Oh, it's a fabulous uh, necklace. These amethyst necklaces that I got a hold of are so beautiful. They just are. So, so beautiful. Can't go wrong. Okay, guys. I want to show um, these spoon rings. We're going to go one at a time. Each of these are starting out at $20. The first one is a size... Right at eight and a half. Eight and a half is this one that I'm going to start out with. Um, 
Let me show you the design. We are starting out at $20 on each of these. Uh, this is uh, my one and only one that doesn't have a flower shape to it. It looks more like, uh, you know, when you uh, do your napkins and you kind of fold them up and then you spread them out like a fan shape with the um, napkin ring. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Really, really pretty. Size eight and a half, starting out at 20. It is a spoon ring. Um, they did use a tool um, for it. Now, before you guys ask me whether it's sterling or not, I do not know. I did not test these. Um, and it doesn't say sterling anywhere in the band. So I am not going to say they are or they aren't. They could be or they aren't. It's, it could go either way on these. All right, that is ring number one. So if you change your mind, just say, Dawn, I want ring number one. Ring number two has flowers on it. And let's see, it is size eight and a half as well. And there's that one. It has um, the flowers right there. So pretty. That's what it looks like. It's more squared off at the corner. Whoops. It's more squared off right there at the edge. And here's what the band looks like on the inside. Eight and a half, starting out at $20. They're so, I love spoon rings. That is ring number two. Ring number three coming up. This one is a daffodil. Oh my gosh, this one is uh, one of my faves. This one sits right at seven and three quarters. And it is, like I said, a daffodil. It's gorgeous. Look, very simplistic uh, style to it. This one looks like it's been oxidized. The metal looks oxidized to me. It's gorgeous. I love this one. That is ring number three. And finally, we have ring number four. This is the most substantial one I have. And this one has flowers all the way around. This one is size. Eight, right on the money. Size eight. And there's the flowers for that one. It also has flowers on the inside. This was my other favorite. I'll show you the inside band. It's got that flower with the leaves on the inside. This is the outside with the two flowers right there. Can't go wrong. This is ring number four. If anybody is interested in any one of those rings, give me the number of ring and let me know. And I will sell it to you. Okay? All righty. I get out my next ring. This one. Okay, it is marked, so I'm going to get my loop out and I'm going to look at it. I know I looked at this one before, but um, I do not remember because I looked at so many things today. I don't remember what this one is. Hmm. 
read it for some reason. There is a marking. Hmm. It's like I can see it better without the loop, the bright light and the loop. Let me uh, shut off the light because I'm just going to see if I can see it close up. Avon. Okay. It's an Avon ring, guys. And I'll show you where it's marked. It's marked right there. So uh, it is an Avon piece. Um, I'm not sure what kind of uh, stone, if it's real, if it's not. It looks like the two on the side are rhinestones. Um, so I'm just going to sell it as costume. I'm going to sell this uh, starting at $10. This is an Avon ring, and um, it's got a sizer in there, but it can go down as far as a seven and a quarter. And there's the ring. It is stamped Avon. It doesn't say sterling, so I don't believe it is. I'm just selling it as costume. Starting out at $10. For this Avon ring. There's the band. Like I said, I'm not sure about the middle uh, marquee stone. I have no idea. Um, I have no idea if it's glass or what it is, uh, but it is colored like a light uh, blue. Very, very light blue. I don't know if it's a topaz or not, but I'm not going to say it is because it is not done in sterling, so I'm just going to sell it as costume. All right, we are going to move on. Moving on, moving on. I have shown this malachite and uh, mother of pearl necklace before. I'm going to show it once again. We are going to measure it. It has a cross. It is almost a size 18. And uh, the finding, the lobster claw clasp has 925 written. I'll show, I'll show you where it says 925. Right, um, right there, it says 925 on the little uh, lever, okay? So it has sterling findings. Um, I'm gonna start this out at 25. We're talking mother of pearl everywhere. We're talking malachite uh, stone chips everywhere. Gorgeous piece, starting out at 25. There's the little cross. It has the sterling findings. This is uh, cold, so it's going to feel really good on your neck, having a nice cold piece like this. And I love it because it has uh, the little crosses up here, too. It's got that big cross down here, and it's got the little ones up here on the side. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. Anybody want to give me 25? If not, we will move along. Alrighty. I do have a sterling bracelet. Um, this is one of those twisted rope bracelets. Um, I'm starting this out at $20. Right here on the class. I'm going to show you. Let me get the toothpick out here. Right there, it says 925 Italy. Okay. This is uh, sterling, like I said. I am going to measure it for you so that you know. 
starting out at 20. It is seven inches. So seven inches or less if you have a smaller wrist, this will fit you. Anything above seven inches will not. But there it is, guys, the twisted silver. Here's the lobster claw clasp right there at the top. That is what it looks like, the twisted rope style. So pretty. And uh, it's got a lot of sparkle left in it. I love it, love it, love it. $20, guys, starts this out. Those of you that don't have any sterling bracelets, uh, this is a really, really nice one. Okay. Let me put that one up. I'm going to do these earrings. Um, I don't believe I've shown these earrings before. I got to find, I'm going to read it to you, what they are so that we know. Okay, guys, I have Coconut Geode Druzy. That is the name of the stone. All righty. Coconut Geode Druzy. I am starting these out at $30. They are brand spanking new. I'm going to first show you the back. It is stamped 925 right up at the tippity top. Right by the ring. And here's what they look like. These are Druzies. I'm going to put them on the trusty little uh, toothpick. Starting out at 30, these are brand new earrings. Nobody has worn them. And these are it. See the uh, druzy in the middle, and then you have the white bands up top. That is a coconut geode druzy, starting at three thirty dollars. These are done in sterling. That's how thick they are. Lots of sterling right there, guys. And these are super super cute. Uh, I did have a coconut geo jersey uh, ring i believe it sold i'm not sure i don't remember if it did or not and that one was an all white one coconut geode uh jersey they come in all different colors so all righty we're gonna move on To find the right bag yeah those were ones i don't think i did show you guys before it's nice to get brand new uh jewelry that has never been worn i have two costume um necklaces i'm going to sell uh they don't fit me and there's no point in me hanging on to them when somebody could enjoy them so i am gonna uh, get rid of those right now This is, uh, we're going back to costume real quick, guys. Um, that one I'm going to hold off on. I'm going to show this other one. i got to untangle it. All right, let me see what this is.
I'm going to check it with the loop because I'm not so sure that the chain might not be sterling. So let me look real quick. I see little markings, but I don't know if it's scratches or if it's actual words or numbers. Nine two five. Yep. It is nine two five. I'm going to get out my magnet. See if it sticks or not. not sticking all right it is 925 and it is not sticking as far as the chain it's a very skinny delicate delicate chain uh, so when you get this you're gonna have to uh, really put it up and take care of it where it's not gonna get um, messed up let me do a measurement here Um, this did not fit me, and I love the pendant on this. It is a 15-inch necklace. I don't know how vintage it is or not. It looks to be vintage, but I'm not sure. It has a glass heart. I am going to um, start this one out at uh, $20. The heart is uh like a pinky purple and then it's got a gold like wash like ab wash over it it's so pretty i love this one uh it is 925 um, um chain on it And it does have the little razor blade, but it's, there we go. Um, I'll show you in the back. It does have the little razor blade, and it is marked on the clasp. Starting out at 20, um, this one is, uh, I love just looking at that heart. It's so beautiful with that uh, gold wash over it. So, so pretty. $20 starts this one out, guys. Uh, obviously, you can add an extender to it. I do not have a sterling extender to add to it. Um, and it's a good idea if it is uh, sterling that you want to try to um, stick with a sterling um, extender to it. But you don't have to. If you have an extender that's just silver tone, you can certainly add it. But this is really, really delicate. So if you take this home, just remember uh, you need to put it right up. Okay, we're going to move on from that. Okay. Have another ring. This one has onyx inlay in it. It is... A size six and a half. Size six and a half, and it does have onyx. It's a uh, six and a half to, well, six and a half to six and three quarters. Now it's laying right at six and three quarters. So I guess six and three quarters. Um, and I am going to start this out at uh, 22. This is one of those thick bands, and it just has the onyx inlay to it. Starting out at $22, there's the band.
I'm going to weigh it as far as grams go. It is three grams. So it's not that heavy at all. It's really, really pretty. We will move on. I have shown this necklace before. I'm going to show it again. This is, let me get, yeah. I believe this was to be, um, it's tested to be sterling, but it is not marked. And it has, uh, this was made in the Philippines. I'll show you the stamp on the back of the pendant. It is shell and it is a beautiful um, uh, phoenix. I suppose I'm going to start this one out at $22 as well. That's a shell. Like I said, I, I believe it's a Phoenix. Not sure on the bird made in the Philippines right there on the back. This is gorgeous. Uh, this could be for a man or a woman. Spring ring clasp. I love it. It's so cool. So, so cool. Anybody want to start me out at 22? All righty. We will move on. I have some fashion earrings. These are just costume. I'm going to start these out at three, and boy, are these pretty. If you guys want color in your wardrobe, these are the earrings for you. There we go, guys. Let me, um, let me hook them like this. It'll be easier to show. I love these earrings. Starting out at three, uh, they are just the plastic uh, beads, uh, just costume, but boy, are these pretty. Starting out at three dollars, guys. I love, love, love these earrings. Okay, we're going to put these up. If anybody changes their mind, like I said, just say something in the chat, and I will go back, and I will find what it is you wanted. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? Um, okay, I have um, these set of earrings. These are elephants. I'm going to start these out at $5. They have uh, two elephants on them. They are uh, gold tone. Oh. Two elephants. Let me show you one at a time, guys. It's just easier. That's what they look like starting out at $5. So, so cute. We have Lydia in at five. Thank you, Lydia. Anybody want to go six? 
I don't know if uh, those of you are interested in uh, animals. I know some of you are and some of you um, are not, but these are so cute. I'm going to let Bob do the countdown. Here's the back. So darling. And we are sold to Lydia. Congratulations, Lydia. I will write you down. So cute. Those are. They are, they are, they are. All righty. And I am going to start these next ones out at $5 as well. These are uh, all colored, uh, another very colorful uh, earring here. Um, there we go. You have your green, purple, blue, and clear uh, stones on them, the dangles. These are kind of weighty, okay? They are good quality earrings. These are not flimsy at all. So we're starting out at $5. Uh, those of you that want color this summer, these are it. Okay, I'm going to put those up. All righty. See what this is. bags up okay this um i've got a marked silver tone uh necklace this is by air apostle it is tagged air apostle and uh this is just uh fashion of course Um, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to wait on this one. Guys, I'm going to wait till I, I got to clean that one. That one was not clean. I told you guys um, that I clean my jewelry, and uh, that one is not clean, and I don't feel comfortable to uh, sell it right now until I clean it. So let me go on to a sterling piece. I have shown this ring before. This is a size 7.5. And I'm starting this out at 25. I'm starting it out um, that way because I bought it for a friend and it does not fit them. And it is a picture of an eagle head. It does have the turquoise inlay up by the face. Starting out at 25, I love the look of that eagle. He's so fierce looking. There's the band. It does have the turquoise inlay, guys, starting out at 25. Oh, hi. How are you, Misty? Welcome. We're just uh, selling some jewelry here. I am going to go to other items, guys. Do not worry. It is on its way. Other items, okay? All right, we are going to move on. So glad you could be here, Misty. Thank you all for being here. 
All right. What else do we have? Um, this is a ring I'm going to put back into um, rotation here. Uh, the person did not um, pay their invoice from a long time ago. And I am just going to go ahead and sell this. This is just a costume ring. It appears to be stainless. Um, this is a man's ring. Of course, you could um, wear this yourself. Uh, you ladies who um, like bands for rings, okay? Uh, this is like just over size 10. It is, like I said, it's more of a man's ring. So, uh, but you could easily um, wear it yourself. I'm starting this ring out at $8. It is just costume. I believe it is made out of stainless, but do not quote me. It has the rhinestones all around it, an eternity band, if you will. I have a question. Can I bid on something if I'm not able to pay today? Is that something that can be held for about a week? If not, I was just wondering, my teenage daughter is uh, really getting into jewelry. Um, here's what I uh, tell everybody, Misty. Um, I do not hold uh, jewelry. However, okay, this is the way uh, that you can go about doing it. If you see something today that you really, really want, if it does not sell, get a hold of me in a week. Uh, when you when you have the money, and uh, go ahead and get a hold of me then, and I will invoice you right away for the item, okay? Or items plural. Um, I tell everybody this because uh, I do today. I am invoicing, so today uh, I will be asking people for the money uh, because I have combined last Wednesday, Sunday, and today will be combined into one invoice. So starting uh, this coming Wednesday, it will start a new um, series for the next week's invoice. So uh, next Monday, every Monday, I invoice. So um, if there's anything you see, Misty, let me know um, on the day that you do have the money. And uh, just say, Dawn, uh, on Wednesday night's video or Monday monday's video uh you had you know a sterling ring for sale and it was 18 dollars. and i wondered if i could have it and i will answer you right away and i will then invoice you if i have it okay oh no misty i'm glad you asked because that's the thing i have new people uh like you and some others who do not know the way i do uh run my auctions and you're right everybody is different some people hold items, some people don't. Um, I literally, what it is, is I don't hold my items, but I do kind of, sort of, I hold them for a week. What it is, is I go from Wednesday to Sunday, all the auctions, uh, and combine it into one invoice, and then I invoice you on Monday, okay? So right after I get done here, I'm going to start invoicing you guys, uh, those of you who have already uh, bid and purchased Okay, so that's how I work. Okay, no, I'm glad you asked, Misty. Trust me, no questions on my channel is a wrong or dumb question. You did not know you were brand new. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your interest. And definitely, if something doesn't get sold, it is yours if uh, you contact me when you're able to pay. Okay, thank you so much for your interest. Um, so we have a costume ring. This is a man's ring, although easily you could wear it uh, for sure, um, you ladies. It has nothing but rhinestones. It is costume. We are starting out at $8. It is a, considered an eternity band. Um, those of you that would like to get your man a ring, but you can't afford a sterling ring, uh, this is a really nice one. And it looks brand new. I don't know. It's not brand new. I do know that. But um, it's been taken care of really, really good. So I'm going to move on. We're showing all kinds of stuff today, Misty. I'm showing sterling. I'm showing costumes. So 
I'm showing kind of everybody's uh, price range. I'm showing stuff that's cheaper. I'm showing stuff a little more expensive so that everybody can get in on this auction, if you will, uh, because I know not everybody, um, everybody's finances are different, aren't they? So, um, you know, I'm trying to meet everybody right where they're at, right, right where they're at. Okay. I have another sterling bracelet. This one is a herringbone chain. Um, yeah, this is a really, really nice one. I love, I personally, I, I still never get tired of seeing a herringbone chain. Uh, I know some people uh, don't really care for them, but they sit really smooth on your skin. Um, it says SI, it says 925, it says made in Italy. So there's where it says made in Italy. On the other side, it says 925, and over here, it says SI. Okay, I'm going to measure this, and we are going to start bidding. All righty. This is size... Seven. Seven exactly. And this is it. We are starting this one out at $20. You're talking sterling. You're talking herringbone. Uh, you have the lobster claw class. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Sandy Brown's in the, I seen Sandy. <laughs> I already said hi to Sandy. I thought, I thought it said sassy there for a minute. Um, I haven't seen sassy in a while. <laughs> so I thought that was her for a second. But, yes, yeah, Sandy is here. You will see some people you know, Misty, that you've met before. $20, guys, uh, starts this out. It is sterling. Really, really nice uh, bracelet. It was made in Italy. Can't go wrong there, huh? Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. All right, guys, we are going to move on. I'm going to show, we're going to switch it up. We're going to get out of the jewelry uh, just for a little bit, okay? I have some other new items I am going to show. And we're going to start out with the first one. This is very, very elaborate, okay? Uh, right there is the face of a cougar. This is a uh, big, heavy uh, ceramic bowl. There's the inside, and I'll first show you the lid. Um, we're going to start this out. Uh, it is very, very heavy. I'm going to weigh it for you because just remember, shipping is going to be everything in this it's it's going to be weighty so the shipping is going to be quite a bit uh because i'm going to have to wrap this to the gods okay uh because it is heavy and i don't want it to break first i'm going to weigh it let's um let's start this out huh okay i'm going to start this out at um I'm going to start this out at 20, okay, guys, and it weighs 1 pound, 12.9 ounces, so it is going to be a lot to uh, ship this. I mean, a lot as far as it's going to be more than 8 bucks to ship, okay, because I'm going to have to wrap it, like I said, to the nines. Here is the lid. We have a Native American man sitting on a beautiful horse. This is the lid, guys. Let me see. Right there. Um, it's got, he's in a um, snow, snowy setting. Beautiful. And then we have the cougars. These are all cougars. Right there. 
different ones. It's got the feathers. The feathers do, um, they are loose. I mean, they're, they're hooked on there, but they are loose. They're not fused to the bowl. We've got the cougar with his mouth open. We have that one that's jumping off of a rock. We have that one right there starting out at $20. Like I said, there's the lid. And I want to show you the bottom. It says Spirit of the Cougar by Chuck Wren. Fifth issue in the Sacred Keepsake box. So that is the bottom. And it is a gorgeous piece. Let me get it straight here. There is the uh, Native American on his horse, like I said. And here's all the different cougars. There we go. It's an awesome piece. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Okay. I have a um, big uh, plastic tray. I'm going to measure this. Um, I'm going to start this out at $10. And uh, what it has on there is, um, it says uh, thumbs. It says, I can't read some of these words. Um, I think they're, I don't know if they're, they're done in another language, uh, the words to the herbs, but these are herbs. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to measure it. Uh, this is just like a plastic tray. Um, it's a hardened plastic, so like a, acrylic, if you will. Uh, on the inside, the inside of the tray measures just over 12 and a half. The whole entire tray, including the perimeter, is... Uh, just over 14 and three quarters inches and in length it is I'm trying to measure it about nine and a quarter inches starting this out at ten dollars it just has a picture of herbs on it it looks like um, a different language uh, what they are spelled Like, um, I think this one's um, time, and it says thumbs, and the one with L, I think that's supposed to be lavender, I'm not sure, uh, but I believe, you know, it's that sort of thing. That's how thick the tray is. Okay, we are going to move on. I do have a, um, this is what I would call like a picnic basket style. Um, it's a basket that has a divider in it to put your silverware in it. Um, it has a pitcher of apples. I'm going to start this out at $13, $13 guys. Um, you can set this on your counter. You don't have to um, use it for a picnic basket, of course, um, because you you put your silverware in there. Let's say you're having a get-together or a party, and um, you want something to put your silverware in so that everybody can grab some as they're getting uh, their plate made. This is what you would use. 
Um, it's got the heart, uh, like the dark, dusty rose color material on the inside with the hearts. Starting out at 13. That's what you use one of these for. Um, of course, you can take out the divider if you do not want the divider. You just want to use it as a basket. Of course, you can do that. Okay. So that's that. Um, I did show this uh, ginger jar before. It is a Asian ginger jar. Um and I am going to start this out at $12. I know I did start it out for more before, but I'm dropping the price. Um, so it's just a ginger jar. Here's the bottom to it. It's done in um, like gold tone. I don't know. I don't know if that's... Um, you know, real gold outlining, uh, but I'm not going to say that it is. I'm just going to show you. Uh, the bottom has no, um, it looks like it did have a sticker once, but it has been taken off. And here's the lid. It does have the flower detail. And so that's what it looks like together. Starting out at $12 for this ginger jar. Oh, what else do we got over here? Uh, what the, oh, I did want to show you guys. Um, I told you guys about this Halloween uh, themed uh, next item and I have to show it to you it is uh, it's so fabulous um, I found this and I thought those of you that love Halloween would definitely love this so let me show it to you Trying to lay him straight here. Okay. We have a skeleton in there. Let's see if you can see him. Right there he is. And it's in this little um, case. Now, I don't know what musical... Um, instrument what was it a what oh i guess it's a wine bottle case it looks like a musical instrument case it's got the blue velveteen um material in here it's so soft um i'm starting this out at twenty dollars of course you do get uh you get the case but you also get the skeleton inside the skeleton is just like a rubber skeleton and i thought this was so cute uh those of you that like to have different um halloween decor uh this is it like i said it comes in the case the case does close if you wanted to use the case for something else but when i seen this oh my gosh i thought this was the coolest thing if you decorate uh for halloween this is so so cool Anybody want to start out at $20? You do get, uh, like I said, the skeleton and the case comes with it all together. Welcome, Linda. Thank you so much for stopping in. I just um, stopped for a minute on the jewelry because we are going to items right now. So we are showing a bunch of different items. Um, now, Linda, I don't know if you've seen this, but I showed this right before you came in. I know you like Southwestern style stuff. Um, this, um, 
I started out at 20, didn't I, on this one? Yeah. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. Uh, Linda, I, I'm just going to show you this real quick. This is a Native American uh, kind of piece. I started this out at 20. It's got cougars all around it with the uh, uh, feathers. And uh, I'm starting this one out at 20. It is, um, it does have the information and the number on the back to this uh, box. It's called a sacred keepsake box. That is the lid. And here's the inside. And I just wanted to show you, this is a, a pound, 12.9 ounces. So it's going to be pretty weighty when I go to uh, ship this. So this is going to cost a little bit. Oh, you want me to send it there? I can do um, international. I will tell you, this heavy, heavy piece, Linda, uh, it would cost quite, quite, quite a bit. I don't know how much, but to send it uh, overseas, just to let you know, um, it would be rather high uh, if you want me to send it overseas. Uh, if not, you know, um, you know, I could send it to the U.S. address, but you just let me know. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I just wanted to show you that before we go on. Um, that was a piece that I did uh, show earlier. Okay, what else have we got? Bring in the clothes here. Uh, you would love the skeleton. Uh, do you want that one then, uh, Linda? Do you want the skeleton? <laughs> Linda, Linda. If you want the skeleton, I can mark you down. You just let me know. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is Linda, isn't it? To Sweden. Okay. Um, just to let you know, I can do that for you. I can send it to Sweden. Uh, you would have to send me your info. But just to let you know, it's going to cost... Um, quite a bit to send it there. Um, if you still want me to go through with it, I certainly will. Now I am invoicing today. So right after I get done here, which I'm going to end this uh, broadcast real soon, I'm going to, uh, cause I have to get to invoicing. I will be invoicing you. So uh, I would be doing it today. It's okay. Okay. I will mark you down for that one. Thank you so much. I am going to start the clothing uh, segment, okay? I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, sorry about that. So, so sorry. All righty, here we go, guys. I have a man's extra large Old Navy shirt. Extra large, I am starting this out at $4. It is a button down, um, kind of like a gray navy, I would say, color with a uh, front pocket. Here's the back. Um, it is 60% linen and 40% cotton. It is size extra large, starting out at $4. Oh, that's awesome, Linda. <laughs> oh, you kill me. All righty, we're gonna move. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna turn my chair this way because it's easier. I do have another Old Navy um, item. This is a dress. It is a women's small. Right there. This is a dress. I'm going to start out at $10. It is by Old Navy. Uh, this belt goes around the waist, of course. It has uh, the scoop neck right here. And uh, it does have like a three-quarter length sleeve. It's so cute, this dress. Perfect for the summer. Starting out at 10 I love all the flowers. It's so beautiful. Now, remember, I have stuff in all different sizes, guys. So don't worry. Uh, I have stuff in your size usually. I say usually because sometimes I run out in a certain size or whatever. I have another size small dress. This one is by Eric and Lonnie. It is size small. I'm starting it out at $10 as well. It's a white dress v-neck with little uh, slices of watermelon on it. How cute can you get on this with the uh, black paneling? Oh, I love this one. And it's got like a razor back with the zipper and the cutout detail right here. So, so cute. Perfect for this season. Uh, Misty, I don't understand the word small either. Uh, I could maybe squeeze my arm into these types of dresses. Maybe. Maybe an arm I could fit in there. Okay. Our next one is size large. Right there. I'm going to start this one out at 10. It is by Natural Reflections. You can't, I'm going to get rid of this little pen. I think what it was when I washed it, it, it was brand new, just so you know. And uh, I'm going to throw that away because you can't wear it with that. But uh, this is size large, guys, and you've got like a, a light pink detail up here. And uh, starting out at 10. It is size large. It has the gathered waist right here. Um, I did want to tell you on this dress, it has a linen um, like slip underneath uh, so that you don't see through it. Oh, this is such a cute, cute dress. Perfect for this time of year. Size large, starting out at 10. Alrighty. Next one, we have a shirt by Dress Barn. It is size 1820 women's. Thank you, Misty. Yeah, they are really beautiful. Size 1820, this is by Dress Barn. I am starting this out at $5. It has a satiny uh, blue uh, v-neck right here. Um, it's so pretty. It's got the plaid design with like the creepy material. I'm going to show you uh, the material says 
99% cotton and 1% lycra. And it is a uh, long sleeved. I think it's like just over three quarters. It's not quite full sleeve. And here's the back starting out at $5, size 1820 women's. Oh, your grandson is too. Oh, she's got the cutest little grandson. He's so cute. Happy birthday to him. You don't want me to sing, guys. Um, I don't think uh, you do. So we'll, we'll just not sing and say we did. <laughs> okay, I have an extra large blouse. It is by Zach and Rachel. Extra large, guys. Um, oh, man. Now, I love this. Uh, this material is not for everybody. It's Huh? It is by Zach and Rachel. Yeah. It is an extra large. I'm starting this out at $7. $7, guys. It's got very unique uh, print pattern. This is a sheer top. I want to show you. So if you get it, you're going to want to wear a spaghetti strap shirt or something underneath. Now, the sleeves are unique in that uh, they have like a slit right here and then you tie them right here they're like um three quarters but they have the buttons all the way down this blouse is so nice it has the buttons all the way up here and it goes all the way down the sleeves starting out at seven dollars extra large all right i'm gonna put this section up and uh, we will go to the next Okay, try to get this stuff over here. All right. I have uh, I have a size large. This is by the company Mesmerize. And it's a beautiful blouse. We're going to start this out at seven. It has uh, the cold shoulder right there, the cutout. And it goes down into a three-quarter sleeve. And uh, it's kind of heavier, just to let you know. Starting out at seven. I'm going to show you the inside for a second, if I can. The inside right up front has a sheer panel that runs down the front. It does have like a tapered end to it that uh, goes like asymmetrical and then it's got a slit right here on the side. It is size large, starting out at uh, $7. Like I said, it has the cold shoulder on it. Hi, Gianna, welcome. Size large, starting out at seven. It's a beautiful blouse. All right, we are going to go on to the next. Right. 
this is women's size 16 it is by the company sandro i'm starting it out at seven dollars these are white capris nope they're i lied it's a white skirt it's a white skirt starting out at seven dollars uh there's no stains at all on this it does have a back slit down here at the bottom all white guys really really nice skirt size 16 women's i've never heard of that company before sandro maybe you guys have i never have it does um it does have belt loops guys all the way around it so you can uh put a belt okay okay linda uh yeah definitely i will send you a message okay guys bye linda have a good one thank you for stopping by i appreciate it um all righty let's i got some down here i have a pair of shorts it is by gap it is size four these are hot pink shorts. I'm starting out at $5. Uh, they are wrinkly, guys. I know. I apologize for that. They have been washed, but um, I think this is one of the ones that had fallen off the hanger, so it got a little wrinkly. So I apologize. Size 4, starting out at $5. Okay. We're going to go to a men's pair of shorts here. It is size 40. It is by Keon D. Yeah. Size 40. These are cargo shorts. I'm starting these out at $8. They have the belt. The belt comes with it, of course. These are the cargo shorts with the pockets down on the sides in that uh, dark, like, dusty blue, I would say this color is. Showing some of everything, like I said, guys, some of everything. You never know what you're going to see here. See if I can keep it up there. It wants to slide. I don't know. It may or may not stay. I don't know. Okay, I did show this one before too, a long time ago. This is a size medium. Um, I'm not sure who the maker is. It's just got three hearts there. Um, this is a little uh, skirt, a lacy skirt. It does have the slip underneath it i'm going to start this out at five dollars it is size medium it has the um elastic uh black band here so it can stretch really really cute cute little skirt okay I do have a size medium uh, tank top. It is by the brand Loft. I'm starting this out at $4. This is a pale, pale, pale mint green. Oh, it's so beautiful, this color. It is very sheer, so I will uh, warn you of that. You will have to wear something underneath it. Hi, Summers. Welcome. Starting out at $4, this is size medium by The Loft. Like I said, it is the palest mint green color I have ever seen. It's so gorgeous. Okay, we are going to go on. 
You're losing at four, okay? Anybody want to go five on this? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous tank. Like I said, it is uh, see-through, so you will want to wear something underneath. Of course, unless you are home and nobody's there, right? <laughs> All right, let's do the countdown. We're going to want to Lulu at four. Going twice. Last chance. And we are sold to Lulu for $4. Thank you, Lulu. It's a beautiful color. Wait till you see that color, Lulu. You will understand. It is so gorgeous. I can't get over how gorgeous that color is. I've never seen that pale of a mint green before. And it is gorgeous, I have to say. Congratulations. What else do we have? I do not know. I have a size small, um, by no boundaries, a little tank top. It is just a little v-neck. Now, uh, these the straps are, um, they are adjustable. So if you need to adjust them, they do. I am going to start this out at $3. $3, guys. This is a deep, dark, goldy mustard yellow is what I would call it. Sorry for the static on the clothing there. If anybody's interested, let me know. We will move along. I have... Uh, no. Sorry about that, guys. That was not... I'm trying to check this all out here. Um, okay. Nope. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Let me see what these are. Okay, I have a pair of silver jeans. As you guys know, these are expensive. Um, these are size 26. I'm going to start these out at $20. They are silver jeans, guys. Uh, and you guys know how expensive they are. There's the S on the back of the pockets. Just your basic straight leg jeans. Size 26. Okay, let me go get some more goodies. All right, I have a size large uh, by Indigo. This is the last batch I'm going to show you guys, and then uh, I do have to go. I have to invoice. So this is the last batch, and I will be calling it quits. Okay, guys, size large. I'm going to start this out at $4. It does have the green and the blue uh, print. It is a big uh, scoop neck right here. The back is all white, size large. All righty. The next one. Boy, I wanted to keep this, guys, but I can't keep it. It my shoulders are just too broad. Uh, it is size large, and this is a cardigan. I love this thing. 
I am going to start this out at $8. Look at the fringe on the end of this thing. Oh, my gosh. It's so gorgeous. It has the paisley strip right there. It's got the other strips that have the flowers. It's got red. It's got turquoise blue in it. And then the navy uh, little uh, flowers all the way through this thing. There's the back. It is size large, starting out at $8. I thought I could wear it, but I cannot. And it is too beautiful to be in my closet if I can't wear it. I'd rather have somebody uh, give it a good home and wear this. You can wear these cardigans. These are the type you can wear in the summer. You just put a tank top on and throw this over it and go. And it takes you from casual to dress in a matter of minutes. All right, we're moving along, guys. Um, I have a size medium, just a white tank. Uh, we are going to start this out at $3. Uh, this is brand spanking new. So we're starting this out at $3. It was just washed. Uh, it is very, very soft. This tank, very soft. So this will feel really good on the skin. Pure white, bright, bright white, starting out at three for a size medium. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have a Falls Creek size 1X. Right there. Um, I'm starting this out at $4. It has the crocheted neckline. Then it has the, it goes down to the V and it has three buttons right there, all black. Size 1X. This is a nice top that you can just throw on when you're in a hurry, when you're just, uh, just around the house. Starting out at 4 1x guys okay and my last and final piece of the day and then i am going to shut her down okay uh this is a size 20 women's size 20 oh shoot uh by the company george as you know that is a walmart brand let me hook this for you size 20 we are going to start these um these long bermuda shorts out at seven dollars they do have uh the side pockets the slit pockets and then in the back you have the pockets in the back as well uh these are a really deep fuchsia color they do uh the waistline does stretch for you a little bit for those of you that need a stretch, size 20 women's. They're the long Bermuda shorts. All righty, guys. Let me go put this up. I'll be right back here. All right. Thank you all so much um, for coming today and uh, supporting me. Um, I can't thank you enough. I am going to go ahead and get my day going as per normal. I am going to invoice you now for last Wednesday, uh, yesterday, which was Sunday and today's orders. Okay. Um, and I would, um, like I said, I, I'm going to let you know that I do, um, print out the labels first so it will say that I shipped to you but I did not of course because of the fact that um, I have to invoice after that's the way uh, the pirate ship oh I did want to do uh, I told you guys I would do a little bit of makeup I'm going to do a little bit of makeup here real real quick guys okay I'm going to show uh, some lipsticks 
And uh, these are going to be $5 each. Buy it now. You're going to have to just put want in the chat, okay, if you want them. This is buy it now. All right. Let me put that in. Buy it now for five on these lipsticks. Here we go. Uh, this one is still sealed. It is Avon. And um, the color is ambitious. It is like a, um, a taupey um, shade of pinky brown. It is still sealed. Totally brand new. Buy it now for five if anybody is interested, okay? Uh, yeah, thank you, Lulu. I do this every Wednesday and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll put that down. There you go, uh, Misty. Uh, I put that down in the chat. I do do auctions every Wednesday and Sunday. Today was a fluke day. I needed to get in a third day, and I had my helper here, Bob, um, who is off of work today. So he was helping me, and so I said, why not uh, try to have another auction before I invoice? So usually it's Wednesday and Sunday nights at 7 p.m., if I do a third night, I will uh, give you guys like uh, our notice. Uh, so look for that because uh, I may do another one this week. Um, so just keep your eye out. Yes, your videos are great, Misty. For those of you that um, want to get to know somebody new and um, she's awesome. Definitely sub to her. Okay, buy it now on the Avon. That's five dollars. Uh, second one is by. This is Lip Fusion Infatuation. Um, it is by. Uh, it is by Fusion Brands America Incorporated. And uh, this um, nude color is called In the Flesh. And uh, it's, it's a nude brown color. Starting out at five. Uh, it's a bite now at five. So say want if you want it. All right. That's the second one. The third one is uh, buy it now for five. It's called They're Real. And this is a double. Um, it's got the lip liner and the lipstick. You want both? Oh, that's okay. All right. Daisy is going to take uh, both of the nude lips, lipsticks for five. I will mark you down, Daisy. Thank you so much. Um, this one is by the brand uh, Benefit. It's called Their Real. And this is like a lip liner and lip, uh, lip lacquer um, co combination, if you will. And the color on this one is Pink Thrills. That is the color. It's got the lip liner up top. These are brand new lipsticks, guys. Buy it now for five if you want that one. Okay. And then I have a Sephora lip gloss. This is going to be buy it now for three. Okay, buy it now for three. It is by Sephora. It is a lip gloss in the color pink bubblegum. It is a lip gloss. Sephora. Hi, Beth. This one is a light pink. It's called bubblegum pink. 
If you want this one for $3, put want in the chat. Welcome, Beth. Welcome, welcome. $3 for lip gloss, guys. Yeah, Sephora is a good brand. Um, like I said, guys, none of this is used. This is brand new makeup. I would never, ever try to sell you used makeup at all. Ever, ever. Daisy wants. All right. Let me mark you down, Daisy. Thank you so much. Oh, no, Summer, did you say, did you want that one first? Uh, Summer, you did put light pink. If you wanted this, you were in, no, no, uh, Summer, you were first. Um, I, I'm sorry about that, Daisy. You did put light pink. Um, so this is going to go to Summer's, uh, Daisy. I'm sorry about that. She did want that, and she put light pink. Um, yeah, she, you did want that. I I did uh, want you guys, if you guys uh, want something, put want in the chat. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you for understanding. Yes, uh, Summers, this is going to go to you. Um, now, Summers, I believe, if I remember right, you haven't purchased from me before. Um, my email is right there, trbl5 at yahoo.com. If you could please send me your name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal billing email. I would appreciate that. Send that right to trbl5 at Yahoo. So, Summers, this one is yours, okay? And just send me all your info. $3, that one is yours. Let me put that one up. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, just email me because I'm going to be invoicing right after I get done here. And uh, so you just um, email me all that info, and that one is yours. And uh, I've got more, guys. Did anybody want the benefit for $5? Uh, put want in the chat. I'll show you the color again. Now, remember, this: the top part is uh, uh, lip liner, and the bottom part is the actual lipstick. It's a pink lipstick with like a burgundy red lip liner. It is a lowercase L summer, TRBL5. It uh, it stands for the word trouble, if that helps you. Um, shipping is not included summer. Um, it uh, starts out at about 350 and goes up from there okay so um that lip gloss is three um dollars and then uh shipping will be around 350 give or take okay if that is the only item that you purchase okay now i'm gonna show you uh, a sealed eyebrow pencil this is totally sealed. Um, this is going to be, I'll put, buy it now. Now, if you want this, you got to put want in the chat, okay? This is going to be um, for $10. Buy it now. This is a big eyebrow, eyebrow pencil. It is by the brand Sugar. Uh, the color is Taupe Tom. Right there. It is still sealed, guys. This whole thing is sealed. Eyebrow pencil for $10. This is full size. This is how big this is. It says Arch... Arrival Brow Definer. Boy, I cannot talk. Right there. Yes, I invoice on PayPal, Summers. I sure do. That's how I will be invoicing you today. And um, like I said, just uh, send me all your PayPal info, including your um, 
real name and your address so that I can uh, invoice you. And we'll have you all hooked up. Okay, that's that one. Um, then I have an Avon um, mascara. This is going to be a buy it now for $5. And this is Avon. It is in the color navy. It is incredible lengths, long and strong mascara. It is still sealed. That's a, a totally a piece of paper sealed right around the mascara. In the color navy, buy it now for $5 if anybody wants the Avon mascara. Okay. Then I'm going to be showing... Um, I'm going to do uh, two for the price of one. Thank you, Summers. Okay, on this one, guys, this one is going to be $4, but it's two pieces of makeup. Okay, guys, you have the Vinyl Jelly by Rimmel. It is a gloss lip liner in the color Fudge, so it's like a taupe. Color right there so you have that and then you also have the Milani eyeshadow it is still sealed and this is called Bella Cappuccino it is a brown eyeshadow so you get both pieces for four dollars Rimmel and Milani uh, let me look uh, Gianna I don't believe I do but I will look for sure these are uh, brown taupey colors, guys. If you like that uh, color, you get two for the price of one. Okay, buy it now for four. All righty. And then this is going to be uh, buy it now for $4 as well. This is going to be a two-piece set also. Oh, you want, okay, you want those? Okay, these are going to Gianna. Thank you, Gianna. Let me, um, let me get a bag for you. Those are going to Gianna. Awesome. For $4. Congratulations. We got you down for that. Uh, this next set is going for $4 as well. The first piece is uh, by Bubble Tea. It is a lemongrass and green tea stimulating hand cream. In like the travel size. And then along with that, you get by the balm, the bong, the Balm Springs uh, Long Wearing Blush. It is a sample. And uh, that is the color. It's like a dusty rose color. You get both of these at $4. Alrighty, guys, I am going to close down shop here. It is that time of the day. I want to thank you all for being here. I will look up more makeup and all that. And uh, thank you once again for being here. Um, please come back Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night at 7 um, p.m. Eastern. And... I will see you then for another um, auction. That auction, of course, will have Blandine as my partner in crime. Uh, mascara, 
I did have the mascara that I had today. Um, I'm going to be getting more mascara. I have the one I had today was navy, uh, in the color navy. It is by Avon. It is incredible lengths. And um, this one was $5 for this mascara. It is sealed. Oh, you're welcome. This one is navy. I will look, Gianna, for um, the color that you wanted. Okay. Uh, this is the mascara I have today. I know I do have a black one, an all black uh, that one is the L'Oreal uh, Lash Paradise, and that one's going to go for $8. You need black? Um, just a second. Let me see if I can find that one, Summers. I do have a black one. Let me find it. Summers, I will uh, email you on that one, okay? Um, it is, do you know what the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise looks like? It's in a pink tube. Uh, it is going to be um, $8 for it. It is still sealed in the package. And it's, I think, black is black is the color. $8 is uh, going to be the price of that mascara if you want it. Uh, I will look for it, but I will email you, okay? And uh, thank you all for being here, and I will see you on the flip side. Have a good one, guys. I'm going to email uh, you, Summer, and I will get everybody straightened around. I'm going to invoice you guys right now. Talk to you guys later.